You know, I can't believe I'm actually saying this, but I have already done three reviews in one day. I am not kidding. Oh my god, I, I can't believe I'm actually doing this fast. But I know that my reviews aren't that good, and someone might say, Your reviews are bad, why do you even make them? Well, this is just my opinion to the sets I bought, and... I want to make the review special enough you guys deserve, since you guys supported me so much these months. Speaking of which, let's start another one right now. The only question... Do you have the courage to fight against the dragon? Part 4 of Brainwave, and we finally got to a climax point. Yes, I am finally going to review Dragon Bolt. Well, I can't wait any more longer. Let's open this baby up. And as always, here we have the first contents of Dragon Bolt. Wow. Just wow. This one is super unusual. As you can see, we have two large bags, one medium bag right here, and a small bag with extra bits or something, and a large, large instruction manual, and it's quite thick, I guess. So yeah, and a very nice picture of Dragon Ball. Alright, these are the first contents, and as usual, let's look at the parts. And here... Um, yeah, I know, I know, I am probably going to cheat a little bit. As you can see, it is quite a large set, so I'm going to do this one at a time. I'm starting with the first large pack, so let's get it over with. We got four black claws, number five sized dark blue armor, we got four pieces, we got this black armor plate right here a headpiece that is neon yellow eight Voltex's lightning pieces and we get only one black hero foot alright so that's the first large pack let's get to the second large pack the second large pack contains these here we have a bit of some technic pieces there we have this super mini body, uh, look at that, it's so cute. We have this spike from Raja because it's black, but I don't have Raja. Instead, I'm gonna say Scorpio. Scorpio also have this, but only it's in lime green, but this is black. Tons of bone pieces, so they're nothing special. Six of these connecting pieces in black. 5. Number 3 size armor in dark blue. 6 of these connecting pieces in black. 4 large yellow spikes. 2 of these um, point pieces like Speedo Demon, but these are blue. 3 of these uh, armor adding pieces, I guess. Uh, whoops. 2 of these pieces in light silver or gray whatever four of these number three size neon yellow armor this piece is kind of special never seen it before we only get one and it is in light silver gray or whatever and four friction joints all right that's the second large pack and let's see what's left and these are the parts that have been left out of the large packs we have this super large size body that have connecting space here and here. Dragon Ball's headpiece looks really, really cool. A special brain in two types of green. This one is very special. It can glow in the dark. But I cannot properly demonstrate now. Or otherwise, just look at Jane Bricks' review about Dragon Ball. 
four of these blade pieces in banana yellow, unlike gold in some other sets like um, Ninjago's Golden Dragon or Speed of Demon or something, and tons of other stuff here, so that's nothing special. And you also get this Technic Rubber Band. This is a very, very important piece, so please do not lose it. Oh god, I guess that's the 149 pieces writing on the pack is real. Oh my god, so many pieces. Um, never mind. Anyways, let's get to building. And Dragon Bolt is complete, and he looks very, very fierce. A little slow motion to show you everything because this is a big set after all. So, yeah. Now, here are my likes. First of all is the head. The head sculpt is awesome, especially these pointy parts to make it look very, very realistic. And the hero foot making the bottom jaw, I thought it wasn't going to be good, but I was wrong. It actually works very well. Also a nice touch. Next is the gimmick. See that red button? And yes, you know what's coming. Press it and... The wings flap. Also a realistic touch. Very nice. And of course, the tail and the back legs is enough to um, suspend the entire weight of the dragon so that he can actually stand up. Looks very, very cool when he's doing this. But of course, I still have my complaints about this toy. And here goes. First of all are the bottom jaw lightning pieces. In my opinion, this is the wrong way. They're supposed to go this way for here and this way for there. It's supposed to go the right side. But like this, it's kind of going wrong, which looks a little bit weird. So yeah. Next is the button, which the red kind of breaks the gimmick, uh, I mean the color scheme, a little bit. I think they should have used another color, like banana yellow that Surge used, or maybe some other colors. Um, Luckily, I do have one piece. This is a gunmetal gray, so I can actually switch that in case I don't like it. Next are the wing pieces. In the show, he has about 7 to 8 pairs of wing blades, which means there are about 14 to 16 wing blades in the show. But in the toy, we only get 4, which is a little frustrating. Last but not least is the tail. The tail is only about um, 3 joints long, but in the show, it was about 6 joints long. This is also a frustrating thing. But luckily, I can revamp this, but unfortunately, I do not have number 3 size dark blue armor, so I can use this neon yellow armor instead, but it'll look a little weird, so yeah. Over and all, it's not as good as it looks, because some of the parts are kind of missing on this toy. It's not as it looks in the show, but it's still very cool. And I thought its size would be only like a Ninjago Dragon, but I was wrong. It looks really, really big. So yeah, it depends, in my opinion, it depends if you want to get it or not. So yeah. And that's my review of Dragon Bolt. Hope you enjoyed it. If you like this review or dislike this review, I don't really care. Unless you're evil who wants to hurt someone, of course. Thank you for watching, and I still have one set and one special poly bag to go. This is Wing Rocker, also known as Shining Leon, signing out.